Welcome to Variant Edition, your source for comic book news and culture. I'm Slow Mike. And I'm Nick. Every week, Variant Edition Tuesday brings you the latest headlines in the world of comics and a sneak peek at what comics you shouldn't miss on Wednesday. Except this week. We're changing things up a little. This weekend is Wizard World Philadelphia, and we're going to be spending quite a bit of the week getting ready for that. So there won't be a regular Variant Edition episode. So, we're going to expand Variant Edition Tuesday for this week only. We'll give you a rundown of some of the comics that you can expect in shops this week, have a quick chat with Hellboy animated director Tad Stones, and check out the guest list for Wizard World Philadelphia. Yep, yeah, so sit back. Here comes another dose of comic book culture. Mmm, delicious. We're shooting this a little earlier than we usually do, so there's a chance that a comic we mentioned may be delayed. But these are the books that are scheduled for release on June 13th. DC seems to have a decent sized release this week, including new issues for Batman Confidential, Green Lantern Corps, Hawkgirl, Shadow Pack, Superman Batman, Trials of Shazam, finally, and the last issues of Green Arrow and Justice. Marvel has plans to release the cool new Avengers Classic number one, Cable Deadpool number 41, Civil War Fallen Sun Spider Man, Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man 21, Punisher War Journal number eight, and if we are to believe Marvel, everything changes again with the last page in New Avengers number 31. But maybe the biggest release of this week, World War Hulk. The Hulk's back on Earth, and he doesn't seem to be happy. Also, be on the lookout for Gen 13 number 9, DMZ number 20, Fables volume 9, Drain number 4. Oh, and all you Coheed and Cambria fans, you can finally find the comics at regular comic shops. Armory Wars number 1 is written by Claudia Sanchez, the creative mind behind the band. Our pick? Catch up on Planet Hulk before World War Hulk begins with the massive hardcover collection of the entire Planet Hulk storyline. Last week we brought you an interview that we shot with Hellboy animated director Tad Stones from back at the New York Comic Con. Since the DVD for Blood and Iron comes out today, we thought we'd check back with him. Alright, so here I am, it's Nick from Variant Edition, and I'm meeting with, you know, Tad Stones, but via the internet he's in sunny california and we're in humdrum new jersey so tad how you doing hey i'm doing great good to be on variant edition nice you keep watching the episodes tad oh yeah now especially now that they're coming out like gangbusters Jeez. exactly we got our we got our stuff down now that you've set the new standard of like what 10 or 12 a month we're gonna keep <laughs> we're gonna expect you to keep that up <laughs> i hope the fans don't keep asking for more though so Hellboy Animated, Blood and Iron, we got that coming out today. That's true. And Actually, it was, it was originally supposed to come out back in May. Um, and the reason why it's not is that Best Buy, who did that cool bust-up promotion that you guys liked, was so thrilled with how that went, they uh, ordered lots more copies of Blood and Iron because they're going to release it with an action figure. And the action figure that comes with DVD is a special variant edition, if you will, of a cigar smoking Hellboy. And as far as I know, that one won't be uh, available any other way, except for, of course, eBay scams. So you're saying that the DVD is going to be coming out with an action figure with it, you know, and you said this was Best Buy you can get these at? That's the Best Buy, and then there's some other, I don't know exactly the breakdown, but just uh, like uh, Sword of Storms, uh, there'll be special comics packaged with um, the DVDs, and others will have a, um, a, a digest-sized Weird Tales. And in fact, somebody, and maybe Walmart, I can't swear to it, will have the new Hellboy animated comic packaged with it. Nice. Which features a story written and drawn by me. I, I go to my credit, but it's not there. <laughs> well, it, it, seem, it, it seems nice, Tad. It's fun. It's a. It's another variation of Hellboy as Calvin and Hobbes, like I wrote in the uh, first version of uh, Hellboy Animated. This time he goes off on the Lobster Johnson comic book. Uh, Mike is the one who badgered me into drawing it myself, and I said, "Okay, okay, if you get me a good inker." And he goes, "Oh no, you got to ink it yourself." Well, <laughs> sorry to subject you to it, but uh, it's a decent first. I didn't cringe too much when I actually saw it in print, largely thanks to the fantastic colors and all. But Dark Horse did a great job of putting out this book, and uh, it's just neat to see that the Hellboy animated stuff can not only spread, but feed into the regular Hellboy universe. Yeah, all right. So, Hellboy Blood and Iron, what is it about, and why should we watch it? Because it's so 
freaking cool. <laughs> now, uh, Hellboy Blood and the Iron, totally different from Sword of Storms, which was an episodic kind of Alice in Wonderland adventure. Uh, what Sword of Storms, excuse me, what Hellboy Blood and Iron revolves around is uh, Professor Broom's first adventure out in the field. Um, Professor Broom is the character who raised Hellboy, and the first time he went out to face evil, he faced this incredibly powerful vampire queen, um, Elizabeth. Elizabeth was based on uh, Elizabeth Bathory, who used to bathe in the blood of innocence to keep herself young. Oh. Our, our uh, premise was, oh yeah, she was that way when she was alive. After she was dead, she got really evil. Anyway, we see uh, the destruction of this vampire, and then the rest of the story occurs, of course, in present day as a pair of witches are bringing her back, um, you know, have, have pulled her ashes together and, uh, um, you know, is going to wreak havoc on the earth again. Uh, within this story, we also have a haunted house. We uh, send the BPRD as a team together this time, whereas the first movie, they were broken apart. But this time, Hellboy is really on solid Mike Mignola territory with vampires, werewolves, witches, um, a haunted wolf pack, and of course, Abe Sapien and Liz Sherman are along for the ride. Um, it's just really a darker, um, heavier, and I think richer mix of this movie this time around. Oh, and also, of course, on the DVD, is um, an extra. We animated the story of the Iron Shoes. That's never been on TV. It's you know hasn't been on uh, Cartoon Network. So uh, it's you know we try to give fans a little something extra when they buy the DVD. I, I, I mean I would definitely have to agree with you with that. But uh, we're gonna have to cut this short a bit. We're kind of strapped for time. But uh, it, it was Not really a great. Problem. Oh, it was it's great talking talk to you. Thanks guys. for all the information that you filled us in on. I mean, from the two bits, from what you told me about the next animated film to the next major motion picture, those sound like some dynamite projects. Hey, and I know you guys criticized that the uh, t-shirts that we gave we out We didn't criticize. We, we, had the we, left we hand only of passed doom. comment on it. Guys, I just figured you of all people would appreciate the variant oh, edition. We, do. we definitely do, Tad. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, thanks for thanks for talking with us, and uh, we'll okay, see I'll you. Okay, I'll be around. seeing you on the net. All okay, right, take bye. it easy. So it's con season again, yeah. and uh, just yeah. like every other year of con season, it's time for the fanboys to go out and meet their favorite artists, writers, and creators. Yeah, get a bit of sunlight, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, and not to mention get all their books signed and bother them by pitching them really crappy stories for comic mm -hmm. books that they might be working on. So uh, Wizard World Philly is no different. There's going to be many, <clears throat> many a name with the big guest of honor, Brian Michael Bendis, who, of course, I'm looking forward to me because I've never met him before. And he's one of my favorite writers. He's one of my favorite writers, too. Loved his Ultimate Spider-Man run. Oh, yeah. Still oh, going. yeah, yeah. I was in Spider-Man. Put him on the map for me. You know, it was the first time I met him. Well, the first time I was introduced to his work, and I loved it. Who are you, uh, who are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to so many artists like Alex Maleev and uh, Michael Turner. And don't forget Greg Horn. Ah, Greg Horn. Greg Horn's and Adam Kubert. Andy Kubert. I keep getting that wrong. But, the, yeah, the, it doesn't the matter. brothers, They whatever. have similar styles, and they're both great. Exactly. So, uh, And Andy know. Kubert's the one that does Batman, so. Of course, because, you know... That's what's up. David Mack from uh, Kabuki is going to be there. Uh, who else we got there? Rags Morales? Yeah, and, and my big, like, peak thing, like, you know, I've been to a lot of conventions with you guys for doing variant editions, seen a lot of people, but I've never seen Burt Ward. I got to see Burt yes. Ward. He goes from Boy Wonder to Man Blunder, and he pulls off a Hawaiian shirt like a train wreck. I got to meet this guy. That's that's me. And back to comics. I, I uh, Michael Avon. Ma Michael Avon Oming will be there. Uh, many people are out there who know his stuff. And of course, don't he's forget Joe there. Quesada. Joe Quesada. Yeah. How can we forget about big old Joe? Well, no, he's like. But he's only there Friday. He's like and Saturday, Saturday only. Size Joe now. He's only there Friday. That's and Saturday. true. He has slumped slimmed down quite a lot. Uh, Humberto Ramos is going to be there. Uh, X Men artist. If you guys didn't know. Yeah, but I mean, like they're going to have. A ton of people at Wizard World Philly. They got a nice list, you know. Check it out on their site. Hit that up. Uh, oh, I'm looking forward to meet uh, to to seeing, talking to, and meeting Kenneth Rockefeller because Madame Mirage. 
art yes, you did upcoming. a review of that. I did a review of that a, a couple weeks ago. I, I, I really like that artwork, so I'm going to try to get in there and really meet him. But, yeah, so the full list... Well, did you have something, Ed? I was going to say, don't forget Derek Robertson. Of course, can't the forget boys. Derek Robertson. The yes. boys! Great comic, uh, not for young readers. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely pick it up. Uh, for more lists of the names, you can check out the Wizard World Philly website. I'm sure they have something up. Yep. They'll With probably have, times like, and everything yeah. else. Events, if they're doing like a special sh signing or there's some panel they're going to be a part of or something like that, they'll keep you posted. But uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. They got it's a lot of a good fun people. weekend. Yeah. And fun I mean, weekend. the Wizard World Cons, they're good conventions. They got everything from comics to guests to collectibles. They got everything. It's just whether it's the entire weekend or just a day, it's a good con. And heads up to Bendis, I'm bringing Ultimate Spider Man number 10 through 109 to have signed. So I'll bring a pen. All right, that's it for Variant Edition Tuesday this week. A little different than our usual Tuesdays, but our regular Variant Edition Tuesday will be back next week. So, like we said earlier, no new Variant Edition later this week, since we're, you know, preparing for Wizard World. But, if you're looking for some Variant Edition to fill that void in your life... Oh, I am. Check out Variant Edition The Discussion. We've got about three of them done so far. Yeah, we've talked about how to get kids into comics, what we thought about Spider-Man 3, and Con Prep 101. Yeah, that, that was a good one. Yeah. I think next week we'll have a new discussion up, but you guys might want to wait for that. We asked the very touchy topic of, are comics sexist? <laughs> uh, I think that was uh, interesting. You see, we all had a different point of view on that yeah, topic. a lot of crying. Okay, but anyway, we'll be at Wizard World this weekend. If you are a comics professional and would like to talk to us, drop Kevin an email at kevin at varianedition.com. He'll get back to you and set something up. And if you see us on the show floor, come over and say hello. And don't forget, pick up Hellboy Blood and Iron. It was great. As always, there are quite a few ways to watch us. iTunes, VO, YouTube, and Google Video. But if you want the best quality video and the quickest downloads, head over to varianedition.com. Well, yeah, that's it for Variant Edition Tuesdays. Absolutely. Well, see you next time. Or at the con. Out of the park. We done, we done.